In this video, we'll show you how to use the brick and bookcase backdrop options in Studio B. The backdrop is double-sided, so select the side you want to use and enlist the help of staff to move it exactly where you want it. You should have already lit your set so you know where to place it. Now that the backdrop is in place, remove the brick side graphics and attach A-frames to each other with bolts from the box labeled A. Bring in the columns from the prop room and place them to the left and right sides of the backdrop. To align the bolt holes from the columns to the frame, stand the column on the extending feet of the frame. Attach them to the A-frames with bolts from the box labeled D. You will need to check out the individual lights from the equipment room in order to light the columns. Use extension cords and power strips to reach the wall. You can change the color of the lights by changing the macro value. Select the macro number that you want for your lights and place them facing up inside of the columns. Write down your macro number so you will remember it for future shoots. If you are using the bookshelf side, you are done and should place the bricks back in their holder. If you are using the brick side, you must place all of the bricks back on the Velcro frame. Do so in alphabetical and numeric order from top left to bottom right. A1 is the top left square, while C4 is the bottom right. After assembling a couple of times, you will get the hang of it, and it should take two people 15 minutes to assemble the backdrop. When it is time to put everything away, complete these steps in reverse. Be sure to leave at least 20 minutes for breakdown. And that's how to assemble the brick and bookcase backdrop at Fairfax Public Access.